continue this series on a military gone woke. One of the dangers of this is the assault on religious liberty now inside the military. Military chaplains are becoming more and more afraid to preach the word of God. Take the case of U.S. Navy retired Lieutenant Commander and military chaplain Wes Motter. The Navy fired him after a few sailors complained about Motter's biblical views. Yes, they fired him. A chaplain for interpreting the Bible the way he thought was the best way to offer spiritual guidance to those sailors. Of course, this happened during the Obama administration, and the fear is we are already seeing the same persecution of religious leaders in Joe Biden's military now, even though federal law forbids the Navy from taking adverse actions against any chaplain based on his faith. But that didn't stop the Navy from unlawfully removing Chaplain Motter from his unit. A court, thankfully, later cleared him of all wrongdoing. He was reinstated and then later retired. Well, joining me now is that chaplain, Lieutenant Commander, Wes Motter. Dr. Motter, great to have you on the program. It's great to be on the program, Grant. Thanks for having me. Do you see any similarities what's going on in today's military that you went through uh, when they came after you for simply preaching the word of God the way you saw fit? Um, there's a lot of similarities because I'm reminded in 1775, George Washington established chaplains as a necessary and vital component of military operations to heal the soldier and get them back in the saddle on the front line. And that caused uh, these ripple effects through history that a military chaplain is critical and essential for combatant commanders. And military service members don't need to check in their faith when they serve our country. And we do have woke clergy uh, in the ranks who are willing to change scripture, theology, uh, and destroy those of us who are. And so we need military chaplains who model living with our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, on duty, off duty. Uh, now we have a woke army general and we have a woke chaplain in the house. And so whether it's a cross on your collar or stars on your collar or a president, you will not change the DNA of America or God's word. And so that that's a point I've of gotta, conflict. I've got to believe, Dr. Motter, that a woke clergy could have a, a terrible effect on members of the military who are going to look to that clergyman for guidance, especially, look, the bottom line is many of our soldiers, airmen, Marines, et cetera, come from southern states, western states, where religion plays a huge role in their lives. You know, Grant, uh, every military chaplain that comes in today should not come in expecting to retire. Actually, you're going to come in and you're going to have to have courage to do the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing is the most difficult thing. I always say truth will outdistance, never, you can never outdistance truth. And our military men and women need not just clergy that will capitulate when there's pressure, but sometimes we have to take a stand and tell the command as the moral ethical advisor, we have to tell them the right thing to do. The JAG will tell you the legal thing to do. The chaplain will tell you the right thing to do. That was the intent of George Washington. Actually, the Bible even addresses it with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, for those of you who are familiar with scripture, it says uh, that even if our God does not save us, we, he is able to save us. And um, that's something that I had to come to terms with when I was serving on active duty, is that will I serve my commander or will I serve my creator? It's very unfortunate, but that is the reality of any military chaplain. We're not looking to fight with anybody. We're looking to provide and care and facilitate for those who are serving our country. Well, Dr. Wes Motter, I appreciate you serving the country the way you did. I appreciate you speaking out on this all-important topic. I, I know that our servicemen and women uh, need strong voices like yours, so thank you, sir. It, it's a privilege, and I also want to thank First Liberty Institute, which was the law firm that had the courage to step in uh, and to help me and help win my case. Yeah. Well, absolutely, and again, thank you, Dr. Motter. Um, look, we need places like that. Uh, and institutions like that to help people in need because it costs money when you've got to defend yourself against these frivolous actions like 
pushing a clergyman out simply because he was preaching the Bible the way he saw fit. I can't think of another place other than the United States military where it is more important for soldiers to lean on a chaplain, especially if they are about to go into battle. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.